Welcome, I'm Amy and I will be going over how to set up the Ocean Atrium Chest Tube System. This comes in a sterile package with a sterile OR towel around it. Um, so if you're in the OR and this is the first setup, just expect it to be in that blue sterile packaging. We will need to fill two of these chambers to get it set up for and ready for the patient. You need just some sterile water and the atrium itself. The first chamber that we're going to fill is actually this C chamber. And you can use this little funnel that's attached. So turn the stopcock horizontal so that it's going to stop the flow. And if you just fill this funnel here to almost the top, you're going to get the perfect amount. Mine will be a little bit overflowed, well maybe not too bad, because this is a chamber that we use for training, so there's always a little bit of water left. And that should fill to that two centimeter line. If it is a little bit older, over, don't worry about it. We can fix that later. It doesn't need to be fixed to be hooked up to the patient. But there is a gray port in the back that you would wipe to sterilize and use a blunt needle to draw out the extra fluid. Then the next part that then you can remove that funnel at the time when you're done with that. Next we will fill up this chamber A and this is the chamber and it is the amount of fluid that you pour into it that actually sets your uh, suction amount. So it's not, once we hook this up to suction, you, um, that doesn't determine how much pressure is being applied to the lung, it is how much water. And the usual clinical rate is to fill it to that 20 centimeters of water. So to do that, remove the gray cap from the top. You can, I have seen people use this funnel to help them pour it into to there or you can just pour it from your bottle. And with a new chamber, both of these will turn a bluish color, the fluid, once you pour it in there. Since this has been a training chamber, we don't have that blue dye. But usually you will see both of these chambers turn blue, so you're able to see the water line easier. Put the cap back on, and that's all you need to do to set up the chamber. If you are assisting with insertion, leave this white cap on that keeps the end sterile, and this is the end that will go to the patient, to the chest tube. The other thing that you may need to know for setup right away is how to hook it up to suction. What you will take again is that uh, tube and the port that had the funnel on, with the stopcock and hook it up directly to your wall suction. Then turn on your wall suction to continuous. And again, it doesn't matter where it is on the dial here. You can also use uh, the stopcock to adjust the suction as well. So what you should see is bubbling in chamber A. They always talk about a gentle bubbling. You know, you're probably going to get it. Uh, that's probably as gentle as you really will get it to go. Now you should not see bubbling in this chamber C. If you see bubbling, that means you have a leak from the patient to the chamber. And that's all there is.